Hi everyone, Scorp here. Continuing the Duels of the Roses Gemini challenge playthrough for low deck cost. Um, today we're just going to go blast Bakura because we're stronger than him. Because our deck is just strictly a better version of his. I'm kidding. It's not plants. We're not playing plants. But our deck is better than his. Um, this looks pretty good. Starting off with a 3500. Pretty decent. Um, he's starting off with a 4000. Okay. It's 4,000 in his leader range. Outside of it, it's a little bit lower. Um, just make ours able to kill it. As long as we're outside of his leader range, we should be good. We are not going to need Goblin Secret Remedy. How leveled is Nekogal? Oh, it's an Admiral. That's kind of ridiculous. It's probably going to get to Secretary of Defense, though. Almost assuredly. Just drop a change slime here. Again, change slime being outside of his leader range, it's going to win by 500. This gives us a very good path to winning the game. That's an. Oh, that's only going to be 3500. See what you got. Well, that fusion's not very useful here. This is thirty two. Ooh, a magic jammer. I figure I'll just fuse out a performance of Sword for fun. Um, not exactly a great card, especially in this matchup, but I figured I'd at least show it. Interesting choice of play. Bonk. Um, not that I need to, uh, but I have Curse Breaker for this guy. Um, but I can just kill him with this. I could have killed over the 3500, the 3500 I reduced to 3000, the hit into the corner. There was enough lethals there. It was great. Um, is there a Nuzzler in here? There does not look like there's a Nuzzler in here. Okay. Uh, so there's nothing I really want, although that Laughing Flower is really good.
So unfortunately, no Nuzzler. Um, Bakura does have three Nuzzlers in his deck, um, but I'm not going to just sit here and farm him for them. There are other people that I can get them from. Um, specifically, Yugi has, I think, at least one. I know he had one at one point. Um, we can also do a reincarnation here. I'm not going to stress over this one. Um, since we've done so many duels at this point, um, we have plenty of good cards. Um, I don't know what I want is the problem, so there's not really much to go get. Um, and it's really hard because, like, whatever I get here, I'm probably not going to even touch, so... Um, I should have just taken something earlier. Um... Or, whatever. It's good enough. It's fine. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those cards, so. Not really going to bother. It's just three additional cards. Uh, we're just going to move on to Yugi. Um, I think after Yugi, I'll do one more duel against Bakura to try to get a Nuzzler. Uh, and then after that, I'll go move on to um, the final boss on this side. Um, performance of Sword is useless, this duel, so... I don't really want to deal with that. Um, also, Beast Warriors are super aggressive um, because of their leader powers. Um, I want to get my leader in there. Ooh, we got the Call of the Haunted. Excellent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and discard one of these females with it. Because we have too many females in our hand. Ooh, a Princess of Suru guy. Okay, next turn I'm probably going to play, uh... I'm gonna probably play the... Call of the Haunted. But we'll do this first. Good to see that uh, we haven't been um, mirror forced already. Not really playing around change of heart right now, which is probably a mistake. Put this on this, and then I am going to um, do the Call of the Haunted. Makes me stronger on the majority of the field. This one was weaker for this turn, but it's going to be 3200 next. Which is fine. I have to be kind of careful of that card. That card's probably quite strong, especially since it willingly went into the area where my Nekogal is. Here, we'll get rid of two females and play this. Let's see... A Dark Magician Girl. And a Dark Magician. It's like gone, it's a bye-bye Dark Magician, but it's fine. Um, he's just gonna revive the Dark Magician. 
and then use it to attack again? Hmm. 3,500 is quite large. Oh, okay. I say that. And then I play a 4,300 Nekogal, huh? Okay, um, I'll move this up two spaces, and then move my deck leader forward. Now he pretty much has to play a Mirror Force here. Okay. Ooh, Mirror Force and a sword? Sir, rude. Really, really, really obnoxious. Let's see, if I fuse this and put it in defense, it's pretty good. Um, my other option is so, like, if I make this, right, that's 22, 28, and I can't defend. Guys, my opponent played cards. Baby Rage. All of my cards are just paralyzed. Will he just pass? Uh, Yugi? Yugi, what, what's wrong, bud? Um. Okay. Huh. Oh, rude. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Well, he got rid of his uh, Mirror Force for me, so... Um... Wow. This was a whole lot of stuff, Yugi, that you just did there that was not good. Hmm. He's like, I should be able to get over a Mystical Elf with a Dark Magician Girl. And then he couldn't get it get over it. Um. None of those cards I'm going to use, but hey, the equips are nice for if you want to play other decks, so it's good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go play Bakura and hopefully get a Nuzzler from him. That's what I'd like right now, so that's what we'll do. Kind of taking this playthrough kind of slowly, even though it's a challenge run. Um, it hasn't been very challenging. Um, I kind of wanted to just show how um, utterly powerful you are, even at 500 deck cost. Um, people are like, Oh no, the I can't play a deck cost a deck that's cost more than my opponent. Why? And I'm like, guys, please. You can be as, as strong or stronger than the computer in their decks. Usually stronger with lower deck cost decks. And then there's Bakura that's just meant to torment players that like to play big deck cost decks. Especially in this mod. Um, and especially the challenge version. The challenge version is really nasty. I'd have to get some more optimal females and um, beasts to really get below below that deck. But the ability to get under um, 500 deck cost is pretty nice. It's pretty... it wasn't too hard to get under 500 either.
Okay, that's 3,500. Um, and he played Filed Germs on it. It's probably wrong to do the double fusion, but it's whatever at this point. I really just want to get through my deck faster, so... Um, and he just played a 4k beater? Welcome to my Tears of the Mermaid. Um, Bakura also has three copies of Tears of the Mermaid in his deck, I believe. Uh, actually, he might not in this version. I know he doesn't challenge. Um, just gotta make this big enough that I can get over pretty much anything you'll ever play. Wait, he's played two Nuzzlers. That's perfect. It's surprising we actually get to go through our deck almost as fast, if not faster, than the guy that's literally just dropping four cards a turn. I am just going to do this. Okay, um, there goes the Rose Specter. Um, I'm gonna flip this here so he can't summon top right. Although he's probably gonna move left first and then summon to the right or forward. I don't need to go look at what that card is. I'm going to lethal him over this Dark World Thorns. Okay, let's make sure we get this Nuzzler. Okay, we got one. Um, now the rest of this doesn't matter. And a Garma Sword we can't play. Yes, think we get rid of. I think I'm going to get rid of an invigoration at this point. Because, I mean, we have what, like, three, six, nine, ten traps? Or, sorry. Yeah, we have 12 equips now. I don't really want to go over that number. That is a lot of equips. Okay. 
Go ahead and save. And then we go here. And we're going to go up against a guy that has four times our deck cost. I could put in three Ryoku's, three Mirror Forces, um, three Change of Hearts, and three Brain Controls and not even get close to him. Uh, so the cards that he plays on his left are usually um, traps. He's playing a monster. Yikes. We'll just get rid of that, I guess. Um, there's no way to stop him from triggering the... Oh. I wanted him to not trigger the tears, so... Excellent. Now we have a target. Um... This is the more YOLO play, but we'll go for it. Um, first, I'm going to defend with this. Okay, not a gravity bind, so we're good. I'm playing pretty aggressive with this play, but we got to go for it, right? Oh, we didn't get the um, an extra equip. We had a decent chance of getting an extra equip there. But I guess I'll just take the 2100 damage. Goodbye. Well, our super cheap deck took a while to get through all of its farming, but we have definitely gone with the cheap route. We got a Komori Dragon that we can't use. <laughs> There's a whole lot of cards in here that we can't use in this game. Well, this was pretty... Um, that was a pretty easy uh, final boss fight for this side. Um, that also makes marks a great stopping point for this episode. Um, having completed, um, one side, um, we'll probably pick up the pace on the other side since we're going to be considerably stronger or than most of the duelists at the start. Uh, so we'll be able to kind of race through most of them and there's not much we really need to farm for anymore. Um, we're not farming up really cheap cards anymore. We're just going through the game as usual. So, except with Beast Warriors. Um, but that was a pretty good and easy way to um, cap off this uh, playthrough uh, on this side. Um, so, yeah. Beast Warriors, let me know. What do you think? Neko Gal, pretty strong. Um, this is pretty close to one of the more optimal decks that you could actually play um, in the game. Um, if you change out two more of the equips and, I mean, you probably put in Ryoku's or something because uh, you have the deck cost room to do so. 
Um, some more of your females could be more optimal, so you could have it even cheaper. Or be using females that have better effects. Just in case you have to play them. Same with the beasts. Uh, you could also be using beasts that fuse into Super Warlion or something. Or do other fusions. Or other things. So, or King Tiger, Wang Hu or something. Because it has a good effect. You know? Um, but, yeah, we're doing quite well. Uh, you could also use Beast Warriors. You could also use, like, Solitude and stuff. So, a bunch of other improvements you could make compared to what we're doing. But this is one of the more... Um, this is closer to one of the more optimal decks you could use for this, so I'm glad to be able to showcase it, even in a challenge setting. So thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.